Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Let's talk about AI. Will AI kill jobs, programming jobs in the near future? I've addressed this before, but I've had a few conversations with friends of mine who are investing heavily in AI technology. And also I looked a little bit deeper into it. In the previous videos, I said that eventually at some point AI was going to replace software development, I suppose. And I said, not for many, many years. I'm now going to push this off for at least a couple of decades, if not more. And let me give you my reasoning. First of all, like any new tech, there's always a lot of hype that you're going to see by people who are in the business of that tech. And AI is no exception. You're seeing a lot of hype out there by researchers and people who want to generate a lot of work for AI development. And AI development... Don't get me wrong, it has a lot of uses and for a lot of things that are important like cancer screening and medical treatment, you can see AI starting to play a significant role. In self-driving cars, you have AI in there. But let me just say that the AI is still relatively primitive. So let me give you a quick example. So some of the most impressive AI that I've seen recently is the AI that could that can, can, that can scan x-rays of people and determine a higher accuracy rate, higher than trained doctors, whether the x-ray shows cancer or not. Now, this is simple pattern recognition. The AI can see a pattern. It can see, it can compare, you know, thousands and thousands of x-rays, and you can train it to say, okay, these, this type of x-ray, look for these nuances in the uh, x-ray, and oh, there you go, this one has cancer, this person doesn't have cancer. It's, it's a s relatively simple problem to solve, right? So AI can do that, and you're going to see a lot of that. And that is uh, very, very cool, and it's going to really have a major impact on society over the next 10 or 15 years. That's without a doubt. But when it comes to more complex things like conversations and programming, it's a whole, a whole new game there. Now, Google, Google has this personal assistant, which is by far the best personal assistant out there. None come close. Siri is like, it's like a dumb cat and uh, Cortana is just a mess. Google's assistant is by far and away the best one out there. And they, they could do pretty good stuff with Google Assistant, but it's still very primitive. This new feature that just came out is the ability for it to contact your hairdresser and schedule an appointment. And that is blowing people away. Wow, that's pretty cool. And it is pretty cool. But placing a phone call to a hairdresser to uh, book an appointment is far, far, far simpler than writing code. Right, Writing code is a very, very complex thing. And before the AI and AI is able to write code effectively, just about everything else out there that we could automate with an AI will be done way before. So one of the last things to be automated or taken over by AI is going to be software development and coding. It's just, it's just so far off. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't happen for 30 or 40 years. Who knows, right? I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm telling you right now that from what I've seen with actual AI implementation, people who've got money into the game, people are involved in it, real world coding, it's extremely, extremely narrow in its capability in the sense that AI will work on very, at this point in time anyway, at very, very specific niche situations like booking an appointment for a hairdresser. And I, I don't even know how good that is, or maybe combining photos like Pixel does, combining photos together to be able to come up with a really nice looking photo by, you know, what the Google AI does, it, it takes the Pixel, it takes a whole bunch of photos and then it uses AI to reconstruct a photo based on all these different photos that it takes instantly like boom, 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 at all these different levels of exposure. That's where AI could, could, you know, comes in, it works at that point in time. But to be able to develop software systems from scratch, at best you're going to see incremental 
implementations of AI coding where the code editors are going to become more uh, more capable. Code completion might be better. Uh, you know, code suggestion hinting will get better. But before you could actually take the whole thing and just give it to an AI, build a system, build a shopping cart. It's it's a long way from there. But I have a friend who has a company and they were using chatbots capabilities and they were thinking about using chatbot for the core of their business. I'm not going to get into it. He's supposed to come in at one point. We're supposed to discuss this. Anyhow, and after about a year or so of development, if not more, they saw that it was just not doable at this point. AI technology, the heart of it is just not capable to uh, replace humans in terms of uh, I don't want to, again, I've tried to avoid tipping my hand in terms of what their product does. Essentially, what they're doing is not nearly as complex as coding. And after spending a year or two of development with some top AI developers, they decided to pull the plug on that and go back to a more traditional model to solve this problem. Because uh, they, they, they could see, clearly the CTO could see that there's no way the AI is going to be able to handle this for many years. So there you go. I hope that helps. Just a little update on the AI situation. Terminator is not coming to kill us yet. It will take a, a little bit longer, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. All right, that's it for today's vlog. Bye-bye.